This time on, going off the menu. Please blow my mind. Tori Belechi from Mythbusters craves an adrenaline-fueled food experience in L.A. You might want to back up. Oh, this is ridiculous. But when our game plan backfires, hello, our reputation just might go up in smoke. What have you heard? What do you know? He can bartend. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Oh, my goodness. So good. This is ridiculous. We're taking diehard foodies on an underground adventure oh, of a Lord, lifetime. have mercy on me. It's Going Off the Menu, brought to you by the RAV4 Hybrid. All right. There we go. Another client in L.A. His name is Tori Belechi. Tori Belechi. Yeah, he's on Mythbusters. Nice. They do huge things. I was on Mythbusters for the last decade. I've kind of taken that curiosity, and I'm applying it to food. I like over-the-top experiences. Three, two, one. A lot of fire, a lot of liquid nitrogen. That's kind of my thing. I don't think just any sort of experience will satisfy Tori. There's this urban artist space that I've heard about. It's like a storage container pop-up restaurant. They're doing their own farming. That sounds right up my alley. It's a pop-up that's built out of shipping containers. Yeah, the container yard. The container yard. She's got it! <laughs> Tori already reached out to someone at the container yard online about an event tonight, but he hasn't heard back. He's counting on us to get him in. So we're going to meet Tori over at this really cool bar. These guys are called Filler Up, and they're doing a pop-up inside this nightclub. The underground community is super, super small in Los Angeles. I think that they might be a good resource for us. We get to have a little preview prior to their big showcase tonight, and I have one word for you. What? Buyer. Oh, there he is. Hey. I thought I was at the wrong place for a second. I recognize Hi. this guy. Hi, Tori. I'm Liza. We love the challenge you set us on. I thought we would get warmed up here. A couple chefs are doing this cool tasting for us. Okay. They might have a tip for us on where we need to go next. Please blow my mind. Oh, there's somebody there. What's up, guys? Step back a second here. We're doing some work oh, over here. So, uh, so cool. I thought that was a cane for a second. Okay, God. You guys might need to take these. Nice. We're doing really? some serious work in here. <laughs> so. Awesome. I think we're in the right place. <laughs> we came to the right place. Oh, oh no way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Forget Tori. I'm surprising myself with this one. It's so awesome. We've entered the filler up gastro garage. It's we're cooking this. with blow torches here. <laughs> That's awesome. We make something called the gastro tank. So we're taking a savory brioche style donut, blow torching the outside of it, and we inject it with all kinds of nitrous foams. And then we blow torch awesome stuff and put it on top. Yes. You had me a donut. So the first dish I'm going to be doing is our Cubano. It's a 12 hour slow cooked pork. Applewood smoked ham, pickle plank with a Gruyere foam. Of course, ground mustard. I'm crisping up the outside of this slow-cooked pork. Just kind of get a little char on that mustard. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> and the donut. Filled with Gruyere foam. Set it right on top. Pickle's yeah. already there. A little bit of olive oil. You might want to back up. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Cubano! Cubano! So you guys just jump right in there, try that out. How did you come up with this idea? Bottle of bourbon in a couch. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> we don't need water, electricity, or gas. We can pop this up anywhere that you could think of. We've literally set up in the middle of the desert and done this. One of the things that always fascinated me was seeing what happened inside the kitchen and the comparison of that and the mechanic shop. And essentially, it's very similar. That this is, is so ridiculous. Good. Cheers. You can really smell that caramelization that's going on. You just blew my mind. Wow. So we have a lot of different torches that we use for different things. Each torch has a different property. So the thickness of the flame, the precision of the flame, the heat of the flame. That definitely destroys s'mores. Yeah. Everyone needs to try this. Yeah, everyone in the world needs to try this. So I'm going to have you guys grab some torches and torch up some stuff. Yes. Yeah. Ah! We want to kind of give it a, a nice golden brown. Yeah. Without being perverse, who's going to squirt for us? I'll squirt. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta really get in there and, because right. I don't even really know what's going to happen right now. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. Yes. That was amazing. Good job. 
Ready? A lot of things on Mythbusters with fire, but it never ended with something this delicious. <laughs> was hoping you might be able to help us out. We're trying to get Tori into the container yard. Container yard. I did an event with these guys over at the Walker Inn, and I remember them telling me something about the container yard. They're doing some really awesome stuff over there, and I think he could be the guy to help you at with the that. Walker Inn. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for coming. The down. coolest thing I've ever seen in cooking. I look up the Walker Inn and make a reservation. Looks like we're going to Koreatown. Koreatown. You guys, this place looks really, really cool. All right, we're here. That's a very original name right there. Yes, bar. Bar. I'm scared. Oh. oh. Wow. This nice. is my kind of place. Wow. And of course, daytime drinking, yeah, there's yeah. no bartender. No. You figure there'd be somebody here. Let me find the bartender. Hello? Just, just make yourself at home. I'm putting the clock on, and if not, I'm going to just jump over. I have skills. So I made reservations, but now I'm confused because the bar is empty. I've got a feeling there's something else going on here. Hello? I think I found something for real. You found something for real? Tell me what that says. Oh, for God's sakes. The <laughs> secret door. Please press the button until the red light turns on. We'll be with you shortly. I'm gonna let you do that. Gosh. Oh, cool! Do you think they're open? It, it's a waiting game. Okay, it's patience. I'm not patient when I'm thirsty for the drink. <laughs> okay. You got the thirst? I got the thirst. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hey, hi. Welcome to the Walker Inn. Oh, oh my way. gosh. As if the first part of the bar wasn't enough. <laughs> Today, I'm going to make you some drinks from our Pacific Coast Highway menu. It's one of the more romantic, kind of exciting ones, in my opinion. Oh, great. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching an ex like a science experiment in front of my eyes. I know. You're like dropping this, added that. I need a little hand whipper. Love the whipping machine. Like, how do you not have Popeye arms at this point? He does. He does have Popeye okay. arms. <laughs> He's a Latino Popeye. The experiment right. begins. This is one of the citrusy ones. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Oh. This is our big star cocktail, inspired by rolling fog and waves and mountains and the whole deal. I grew up in Monterey, so this is very, cool. like, this This means a lot to me right now. Oh, there's waves in there. It did the thing. It doesn't always do that. She poured it in, it was like, whoosh. It was like, whoosh. And we are all, what? That is awesome. It's I love that closer. smoky finish. Even if the cocktails are fancy, it should still be fun. That's the point. But you gotta you drive. Yeah, it. I have to you drive. But you have to put drive. So this is like classic California burger shack, fries and a milkshake, Neapolitan yeah. shake, of course. That's one of the best milkshakes I've ever had. <laughs> yes. That's a spiked milkshake. That is genius. I am impressed. And then you, my dear, have our Malibu cocktail. And then we have coconut chips. So those are for snacking and a little sort of like boat that has washed ashore. I uh, love that. That's amazing. There you go. Oh my gosh. All the drinks are totally warming me up, too. That, that'll happen. Like warm? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the romantic part? Oh, my god. I love this place. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. OK, so what happens after cocktails? What are you up to tonight? That's right. We were actually here for a purpose, yes. weren't we? <laughs> we had a very important oh mission. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we're trying to get into this like pop-up dinner at a place called the Container Yard. The guy that's been helping me all night, Aaron. I've heard him mention it, but I don't know anything about it. Can we talk to him? Can we yeah. ask him? Yeah. Aaron. Am I in trouble? No. Maybe. They're wondering about the container yard. We want to go to this event. What have you heard? I've heard what that it's... What do you know? It's... Yeah, what do you know? <laughs> God, you're being so cryptic. <laughs> I know. The, the dinner is tonight. It is sold out. We'll, we'll dance for our dinner. We'll do anything. Like uh, He can bartend. He's a great bartender. Can you bar back? I can bar back, I can shake a cocktail. I'm gonna let you guys come under one condition. You're gonna help me. I got this. Cool. I'm so there. Good. Cheers. I guess I'll see you guys tonight. Russell's gonna have to work, and Liza might have to dance, but I'm gonna have fun. You're a lightweight. I'm not, though. You're like, I can My face is so warm. 
So I need to head straight to the container yard to help Aaron with the setup. I am starving. Oh my gosh, you Look guys, at this. seriously. Wow. Look at this. I wasn't expecting this. This is way cooler Tori, than I thought it would be. Tori, great pick. This is so perfect. I don't even understand where the farm would be. Yeah. Hey, who are you guys looking is for? Is Aaron here? Yeah, Aaron's in the back. What's your name? Anthony. We've been looking all over for this yeah. place. I'd love to get a tour. Yeah. All right. So yeah? I hear there's a farm there and, and fish. So it's actually in this container here. Holy Oh my gosh. Tomato. The name. So these are all our little tilapia. So you raise the fish here? So we raise the fish, and it actually provides all the nutrients for our plants over there. I guess you could say it's pretty efficient. Oh! Ew, nice. So we're going to eat these little guys? You guys are going to eat those later. Wow. Absolutely. Don't get too attached. Yeah. Keep walking down. We have some kale going on. We have some tomatoes going up there. That's all the water that's coming out of those tanks. And so these are fed. growing from nutrient fresh water. It's great for the urban environment just because it's super energy efficient. Yeah. How cool is that? This could actually be set up anywhere in the country. You're blowing my mind. Wait, do we call this container to table? Or oh, tank to the table? Tank to table. I'm glad you enjoyed the tour. It's unbelievable Absolutely. in there. So I heard I got to work. I actually need them to help me grab some of the fish for the dinner later, so. <laughs> See you, kitties. Bye. Get in there. Fun. There's containers everywhere. One, they're growing vegetables and raising fish. All right, get in there, Tori. All right. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh. Got him. Another one they're using as their kitchen. I mean, it's insane. You're bar bitch. I'm barback is here. Uh, How are you? It, How are you? It, How are you? It, How are you? Hey, boom. The original beverage in a bag. That is awesome. Yo, what's up, guys? We owe you, Aaron. Yeah. Good to see you. I knew you'd make it. Hey, Aaron, there you go. thank you so much <laughs> yeah, for, for getting you. us in. You're just starting. Get ready. Come on, sweet. Uh, cheers. 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 Uh, Thank you. Have a great dinner tonight. Thank you, Aaron. What's up, guys? Welcome. Oh, my Welcome. God. Wow. Look at this. You walk in, and there's this beautifully set table. Almost too good to be true. This is all for you. <laughs> Have a seat, please. Please, please, please. This is a special evening. It's going to be a mix of art and food. Art. Thank you. Let's Thank enjoy you. it. Thank you. All right, let's eat, right? <laughs> awesome. yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Oh. We get some ceviche over here, some vegan ceviche. Made out of Mexico's number one nopales, cactus ceviche. That looks gorgeous. Cactus ceviche is just, it's so bright, it's so delicious. It tastes Whoa. like sunshine. Oh, oh, our favorite person yeah. is back. I love these straws. Yeah. So good. It's like an orange milkshake. This is a little palate cleanser. This is our kikama gazpacho. I'm gonna pour in uh, here the kikama and start the show and then just blend it in a little bit and just drink it. Oh man, that's good. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. This is our very famous pescado sarandeado, fish marinated and cooked over mesquite. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. So much chili. It really tastes the mesquite. Oh, that's happiness. He fished for this meal. I mean, was that by hand? Did you I go jumped in, in. bear clawed him out, wrestled him? Nice. In the middle of downtown LA. Mm. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's amazing what's underneath everyone's noses and they don't realize it. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about underground food. Liza and Russell hit it out of the park. One of the most unique dining experiences of my life. Every step of the way was a surprise. But to finish up here in this environment, in this with this food and these drinks and these people, you guys have surpassed my expectations. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> 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 Next on Going Off the Menu. I'm Josh Flagg. What do you give the guy that has everything? We really need to charm them. You gotta be work. like open sesame. This is really not something that we're used to doing. It's a breadsicle. Oh my god. I love this place. Are you <laughs> kidding? Oh, yeah.